Having joined and entered your WebEx meeting, in this video we will be looking at some of the features um, that you can use once you are in the meeting and participating in your online class. So to begin with, uh, you might want to check that your audio is working. If you go up to the menu bar at the top, you'll notice that there's an audio menu button and if you click on it, you have the speaker microphone audio test. And if you click on that, uh, you can test your microphone and you can test your speaker. So if I click on the test button, that says that the uh, speaker is obviously working and to test the microphone if I see movement here, then that indicates that the microphone is working properly. Um, and I can just click OK. There are other buttons on the screen, as you'll notice, which are greyed out, which means they're not tools that are accessible for you to use. Um, however, there are a number of things over here that you can engage with. Uh, the first of those, um, if you've got a webcam attached to your computer that is working, uh, you can click on Start My Video and um, your video will appear. And you'll also see the video of the host if the host has a webcam too. If you don't want to be heard, uh, then you can click on the Mute button and then you'll go silent. If you click on the mute button again, then everyone else will be able to hear you. Um, your tutor can mute people while he or she is speaking um, as there may be background noises that are somewhat distracting for other participants. Uh, you can also uh, raise your hand by clicking on this button and that notifies the presenter or the or tutor that you would like to ask a question or something and you can lower your hand once you've done that. Um, you can also uh, switch between participant thumbnail views so you can see either a list or you can see thumbnails which shows their images if they're there and you can switch back to a list. Uh, you can also engage in chat conversations with members of your class or meeting. Um, either you can, can talk to everyone or you can select one person from that list whom you would like to engage with. And then you can just chat here Hi. And then if you click on send, your um, conversation appears here. And then if there's a reply, then that will appear underneath. Um, so there are tabs here as well. Uh, if you click on the participants tab, then um, the chat uh, dominates. If you click on chat, then the chat disappears. And also you can take notes if you wish. Um, and you can type your notes here. And if you click on save, then you're able to save it to your um, hard drive on your computer wherever you wish by clicking on save. And so, if you click on audio, um, that will allow you to leave the conference if you wish, uh, which we do not wish to do. So you can ignore that particular button. So those are the features of what you can see. Your tutor may, in this white area, um, show you uh, either 
his or her desktop. Um, they may show you stuff that they're doing on the whiteboard um, or um, other things that are going on will appear here but that's for your tutor to decide and when you've finished um, the meeting or the class has ended you can leave by simply clicking on leave meeting so if I do that um, I'm going to close my video first and I can just click on that and leave the meeting by doing that and then it will ask me to confirm um, if you want to save meeting files and then um, leave the meeting